Hello everyone, I'm Jenny and this is Goose Nuggets. I am in West London. And more specifically, Notting Hill. Notting Hill the movie has been my favorite movie of all time. So I just had to come here and check it out. So I found a breakfast place, they're called Farm Girls. It's right behind me. Let's go have some food. I got the berry pancake with coconut flakes and pistachios. The pancake is nice and soft and tender. It has a lot of holes in it. It's like a sponge. It absorbs all the syrup and the berry juice. The berry sauce is super fresh. It tastes like it was made by them. It doesn't feel like it's store-bought. And the honey along with the coconut flakes is something I was very pleasantly surprised because I'm not a big fan of coconut flakes, but it's so good, I quite like it. it seems like it roasted the pistachio and a bit of sugar, but that's also very good. It adds that sweetness and that crunch and that flavor, the, the aroma of the pistachio really comes out. And then the Earl Grey tea, very Earl Grey-ish. The flavor of the Earl Grey really stands out. They use actual whole tea leaves for the Earl Grey. And with a bit of hint of milk, that is very good. So that was Farm Girls, it's very good. And it offers very health conscious brunches and in a very casual and very Instagrammable place. Let's see what else Nani has to offer. Check out Gail's Bakery and get a coffee. So the finger brownie is very dense, very chocolatey. The crust on top is super crunchy and then you get that brownie, decadent brownie underneath it. It's like a solid, good brownie. And I also got a flat white. It's a decent flat white. There's nothing specific about it. The coffee tastes good, the milk tastes good, and a little bit of foam on top. That's also very good. The whole environment is quite welcoming. There's people on their computers, people chatting, people hanging out. But all in all, it's a very good, high quality cafe. Worth a visit if you're in Notting Hill. Notting Hill is a quaint little neighborhood. This is like an older neighborhood. People are walking much slower around here. You know, people just hanging out, getting groceries, getting a cup of coffee. I can totally see why Hugh and Julia would live here. I would too. This is a great place to come for a lazy afternoon.
Roastery Coffee. They are a local roastery and they have a few locations and I happen to bump into their Trafalgar Square location. The flat white is good. The coffee itself not overpowering the milk and the coffee is not bitter or sour or fruity. It's just a great balanced coffee flavor. It's a great little cafe just beside the National Gallery. Great place to take a break from all that walking. Battersea Pie Station on Covent Garden. I got the baby steak and mash pie itself. It tastes very normal and there's nothing significant about it. The pie crust is flaky and the herbs on top is a nice touch. You get big chunky steaks inside the pie filling and it goes well with the mashed potatoes. And then you get that gravy. The gravy goes well with the mashed potato for sure. It tastes like a chain restaurant food. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not, it doesn't taste homemade, home cooked. So it's a nice little place if you're in Covent Garden and you want to get some high end mash. I got a flat white and a mince pie that start with the coffee. Um, it's just a very normal flat white, nothing special about it, but nothing bad about it too. And then mince pie. It's my first time having mince pie. Originally I thought it was salty, but it's actually a sweet dessert. A mince pie is a sweet pie of British origin, so it's filled with a mixture of dried fruits and spices. It's traditionally served during Christmas season, so this is a perfect timing to have one of these. Peyton and Byron. Hopefully I'm pronouncing the name right. So they have a great selection of baked goods. The coffee is decent and the mince pie is good. I don't know if it's the weather or something, but I've been ducking into a lot of cafes while I'm here. But let's keep walking and explore. And I'm at Winter Wonderland at Hyde Park. Hyde Park is one of the capital's eight royal parks. This is a huge park in the heart of the city covering 350 acres. With Christmas markets, there must be food. And that's what I'm here for. Come on. Sorry guys, technical difficulty with the audio while I was in the park. So we'll have to do it this way. First thing, I had an East London classic. Whole beef brisket inside a bagel bun. Because it was a bagel bun, it was quite solid, quite dense. The strands of briskets were kind of dry too. Luckily, there were the pickles and the mustard that got me salivating, so I could swallow it a bit more easily. The whole thing was just very dry, but the flavors are there. How can I go to a Christmas market without having a bratwurst? The sausage was grilled over charcoal and made the sausage casing very crispy, and that was very good. The meat inside doesn't taste like a bratwurst though, it tastes more like your supermarket hot dog. The bun also tasted like a supermarket bakery bun too. This just tasted more like a hot dog. It was a very long hot dog though. Also a must get at Christmas market, mold wine. Warming any sort of alcohol kind of makes the first sip more strong, more alcohol tasting. But after a while, it gets better. The cinnamon and the fruity notes of the wine comes out. It was great. It warmed me right up. After walking around for a while, I realized this is more of a carnival in wintertime. There's lots of rides and amusement park like foods. The foods aren't gourmet, they're not Gordon Ramsay level, but it'll do. And that's kind of what you expect at amusement parks. So to end things off, I got some churros with cinnamon sugar. Again, they are very amusement park like churros. They're not life changing, but no complaints.
It is so busy on a weekday night already. I can imagine what it's like during weekends. This is like a winter carnival. Lots of games, crazy looking rides, and food. You can find your usual Christmas market food here. Mold wine, bratwurst, waffles, and churros. It sure is a winter wonderland. Thanks for watching. If you like our video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.